Text appears saying, Chrissy Bista presents, Welcome to Brown Bags TV. Background is a woman typing at the computer keyboard and changes to two people scribbling notes. Then the text now reads, It's better that we know. Then background changes to the photo of a woman in a table and with a fan and says, Your brown bag sessions are now virtual. Like, share, and subscribe. Hi everyone! Welcome to our HR series and for today, I have another person or another friend with me na makikipagkulitan um, ulit with me. So welcome to Brown Bags TV. Sige, I'll introduce... Ay hindi, actually dapat siya na mag-introduce sa inyo. Hi Aaron! Hello! Thanks, Christine! Hello! Hello. Kamusta? Okay na. Sige, um... Maganda talaga ikaw na magpakilala ng sarili mo mamaya. Sumabit ako. <laughs> but this is really a really nice friend. Go, Aaron! Alright, hi everyone. My name is Casey. Good morning. My name is Aaron. I am, uh, I am also an HR practitioner. So, uh, 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 eight years na ako na nasa HR field. Well, combined experience siya kasi I also have experience in project management. But yung early career ko talaga is on human resource, particularly on recruitment and selection and uh, training development. So, after uh, undergrad, I have clinical psychology and I'm a registered psychometrician. And I just recently finished my master's degree in women in development. So, yun, yun is crazy. <laughs> wow, parang ano yun na? Parang isang mahabang resume. <laughs> oh, no, <man, I'm> sorry. <laughs> Hello. Um, ako din, uh, just like Aaron, I'm also a recruitment or talent acquisition specialist for uh, quite some time. Kasi meron din, bukod sa talent acquisition or recruitment, I also have an experience when it comes to training and development, which I still do uh, hanggang ngayon. And na-explore ko din yung ibang facets ng HR, which is yung organizational development. So, medyo hindi pa siya kilala Aaron or sabi natin, hindi siya masyado pang popular in the Philippines. Pero marami na rin nakaka... May, kahit pa paano naman, meron na siyang identity in the Philippines. Pero, medyo hindi pa siya explored area ng human resource development. At, um, ako din, three years na akong nasa consultancy on OD, or organizational development. Pero, early in my career, uh, mostly talent acquisition na ako, talent retention. So, nasa recruitment, parehas na parehas talaga tayo. And I'm surprised to find out, oh my gosh, I'm really old. <laughs> Dahil, 8 years ko pa lang, ako malapit na mag 20 years. <laughs> In, it's just a number, ma. Kaya nga. So, it just does, I know, it just just a number. Kaya, sige na, let go of the number. Anyway, ano ba ang topic natin today? So, for our HR series, ang gusto ko munang malaman bago tayo magtuloy-tuloy sa HR series na to. How's your, ano, how's your dating life so far? Uh, I'm not in dating life. I am um, currently in a relationship po. Um, We've met in Bamboo. We've met in Bamboo. So, and almost one year na. <laughs> yeah, we've been with each other. Talaga? <laughs> nice. Pero, okay, since mukhang okay naman kayo ng partner mo, um, kamusta? In the past ba? Have you like, had an experience about ghosting? Like, may imin dyan naman sa'yo sa mga, alam mo, mga eyeball? Ay, grabe, eyeball. Ang luma na lang. Oo nga, parang very, 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 very 2,000 yung eyeball. Eyeball. So, um, ano ba ang, ano, ano ba ang Gen Z, ano, or Gen Z, uh, ano ng eyeball? Um, meet ko, up. Meet up. up. The same Yon. thing. <laughs> Oo nga. Okay, so, kamusta? Meron ka na ba? Okay, before your relationship with your partner, um, naka-experience ka na ba ng in-Indian ka? Well, um, you can kasi, be a friend or a prospect partner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pero kasi, uh, ang ano kasi ngayon is dating app na. Ay, so, oh. Yes, yeah, so, uh, before kasi, um, you need to meet them, di ba? Para, Kapi tayo. Pero, yeah, sure. Pero ngayon kasi dating app na. So, mm -hmm. usually, yung, yung ghosting ay nangyayari few days after yung mag-start mag-usap sa app. 
<laughs> ah, yeah. Tapos yung, yeah. kunwari, di ba, nag, nag, parang nagkasundo kayo na mag-meet somewhere for, like, uh, maybe a movie or kakain sa restaurant or sa, sa coffee shop. Pero usually, yeah. darating. Yeah. Hindi na umaabot sa point na yun. Usually, kapag yung first na usapan nyo, tapos may isa sa inyo, hindi na, uh, hindi, tingin nyo hindi nag-click. Hindi ka nalang mawawala in the process. Kahit di pa kayo nag-meet. Parang gano'n. Kasi through app na nga, through application na nga. Oo nga. Eh, no? Ang bilis mag... Yun lang nakakainis, no? Dito sa advantage ng app. Ang daling, yeah. ang daling mag-disappear. Mm-hmm. Eh, parang express na lang siya. Parang... Oo nga eh. Well, uh, just like you, I'm also um, happy with my partner. Mas matagal na kami. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Pe, mag, ano na kami, 10 years na, o oh, diba, ang tagal. Um, pero dati, syempre nung, nung wala pa siya, syempre meron din ako mga, ano, no, parang ini, ano ba yan, ang hirap na makausap nito, sabi namin ganito, tapos inindyan ako, ba diba? Kakainis kaya, kasi alam mo, yung stress kasi doon is more on, bakit nawala? Yes. Bakit exactly. nawala? At kung bakit siya nawala, I mean, like, the reason why this person left or did not show up, tawag nga namin dyan sa PPO kasi sa BPO ako nagsimula eh ng pagtatrabaho way back. Uh, NCNS ang tawag namin. No call, no show. O, diba? <laughs> so, NCNS ang lolo mo. Like, on ba yan? Nakakaasar kaya. Sobrang nakakastress. And, alam mo, kahit sino may kadate na ganyan, parang, hindi na talaga ano no. <laughs> yung iba siguro might you know might find it traumatic might be a traumatic experience pero so far sa ating dalawa mukhang hindi naman tayo nagkagano well, yes. <laughs> first time we partner yeah, yes it's easy just to be on so mm-hmm. may ilang times dating na pa na um, ako yung nag-i-initiate ng posting sa mga <laughs> so so just to put it here baka marami <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, pwede naman ganun Kaya, <laughs> o oh, hindi ko naman sinasabing tama yon Pero syempre, <laughs> one, parang once in a while naman Tayo, um, lahat tayo or at some point uh, <laughs> Gumawa na ng pangiin dyan, di ba? Mga in janero, in janero din at some point Tama ka dyan And, you know, um, when it comes to dating yan lagi yung madalas, yung in-Indian, nang i-Indian, or ghosting nga. Actually, social na nga eh. Ghosting na yung tao dyan. You ghosted me, sabi nga <laughs> nila. And, um, sa, ikaw, ikaw na nanonood sa amin. Were you an applicant in the past at may trabaho ka na ngayon? O ikaw ay isang aplikante pa rin ngayon? Kasi alam mo, sa buhay naming mga HR, share ko lang, SKL. Uh-huh. <laughs> share ko lang. Um, sa buhay namin ay marami kaming nararanasang ghosting. Um, so, hindi lang po sa dating nangyayari ang mga what do you call this? Yung, yung pang i ba? Mm-hmm. Kahit po aplikante, ini-injan kami. Share ko na. Yeah. Yan ang aming mga experience as uh, HR or sabi na natin, ano, to be specific, kaming mga nasa recruitment or talent acquisition na trabaho. Uh, sa profession namin, sobrang dami ng taong nakakausap namin everyday. Alam mo dati ron, meron coming time na sobrang taas. Ang tawag namin doon is uh, nag-ramp up kami ng uh, hiring demands. Uh, there, are, there are times na kailangan umabot kami no, based on projections. Kailangan umabot kami ng at least 100 applicants per day. Kasi hindi mo naman siya mahahari eh, yung 100%. Or exactly. yung, rather, yung 100 applicants na mag-walk in sa'yo, exactly. hindi mo naman yan mahahari. Eh. So, may fallout ka dyan na malaki. So, ilan na lang matitira? Kaya dapat, palaki ng palaki, parang more chances of, well, winning for us, more chances of winning. <laughs> Kasi, um, bawat recruitment process, maraming nalalakas. So, ikaw, okay. kamusta yung recruitment experience mo? Meron ka na bang maitatawag or consider that you were ghosted by by applicants? Yes, excuse me. Actually, the yung first, the early uh, career in HR is on retail industry. So, alam mo kapag retail, sobrang taas ng demand sa recruitment. Kasi, uh, 
maraming uh, kailangan na staff. No, lalo na, you need to to meet the sales target. So, to meet the sales target, you need to hire people who would um, do the sales. No? So, so yun, yung burden lagi is going to each or the recruiter. So, yeah, maraming times na uh, uh, parang uh, sobrang saya mo na nagko-confirm sila through text message na pupunta sila dun na interview pero magugulat ka na lang the next day iilan lang yung kumatend no? tapos hindi na mataas yung yung rate ng matatanggap oh, so yung passing rate yes, yung mga ganun yung mga ganun na concert true and nabawasan yung ah, nabawasan yung problema ko yan Miss Crazy no <laughs> nag, nag-focus ako on um uh, specialized hiring parang yung parang oh. uh, head hunting head hunting no, talaga ano yeah. ba oh wait for our um, for the benefit of our audience na you know they might find head hunting um, a jargon no? HR jargon yan eh. yeah uh, head is, hunting is is more on a uh, meron ka specific na tao na hinahanap so hindi siya iba siya dun sa volume hindi ba parang hindi ba parang kidnapping yan <laughs> <laughs> At mayroong nakapatong na, na award sa ulo. <laughs> hindi naman, hindi naman. Iba siya sa volume hiring. Kasi yung volume hiring, lalo na sa, sa retail, medyo ito. Kasi minsan na pick season, so lang marami ka i-hire. Pero sa ito kami, may specific na tao ka lang i-hire on a specific role with specific expertise. Parang gano'n. Actually, yes, I agree. Ako, I in my in the early days of my career as a recruitment and talent acquisition. Kind of early days, parang ang layo layo. <laughs> Iyon, ang layo layo. Actually, alam mo hanggang ngayon, may set aside ko lang sa glad no, yung kwento. Um, tandang tanda ako pa yung first day ko at work. Tandang tanda ako yung date. Hindi ko talaga yung mga kalimutan. May one. 2000. May 1, 2005. Oh, di ba? Nakakaloka. Yeah, kang layo na 2005. Yeah, May 1. Kasi nakakatuwa na. Labor Day siya, tapos I got my job. Tapos, first day ko at work. So, sa BPO yun. And ang dinatnan ko, volume hiring. <laughs> Kasi, uh, I must say, I'm also lucky to be part of that BPO company. Kasi, yung branch na kung saan ako na-deploy, was starting. Under construction pa nga yung main operations floor namin eh, that time. Mm-mm. So, meron kami sa, ano, sa isang, sa, sa Robinsons, oh yan, na-mention ko na yung, yung mall, <laughs> pero hindi po ako endorser ni Robinsons. Pero baka naman, Robinsons, baka naman. Ang tagal kong nagsilbi <laughs> sa, sa gitna ng mall. Hindi, kasi nag-set up kami doon ng temporary recruitment office sa gitna ng mall kasi nasa loob ng mall yung office namin. Tapos, syempre, advantages na rin yun sa amin kasi, alam mo, yung mga shoppers, nakikita kami din na, na, na may mga banners kami doon. Syempre, na, ano sila, na-attract sila. Anong meron dyan? Anong meron dyan? Kala na promotion ng produkto. Yung hiring pala. <laughs> so, um, yeah, actually, uh, masaya naman sa recruitment eh. Masayang masaya kasi sobrang iba't ibang tao ang mamimit mo. It's just that the sad part is when you lose a candidate, either you lose them because hindi na talaga pumalo ang score nila sa mga exam kasi syempre malalagas sila dun sa, sa process. Yun kahit malungkot ka dahil nalaga sila sa process, ang medyo mas nakakainis na nakakalungkot din. And when is when they actually uh, parang don't show up on a certain schedule. Kagaya na sinasabi. Kasi, mm-hmm. di ba, mas nakaka-stress yun eh. Kasi syempre, kailangan natin ng aplikante for our fellow HR and fellow recruitment officers. Kailangan na natin ang aplikante. We cannot deny that fact. Dahil our performance is, ano, measured, not, well, not solely measured by the number of applicants we hire, pero malaking part ng ating performance is yung maibigay natin yung kailangan ng hiring demands, di ba? Yeah. Uh, kaya kailangan natin ang mga aplikante. That's why we love them so much, di ba? But, 
unfortunately, when they ghosted us or when, or when they are ghosting us, ayun lang, wala na. Hindi natin, kahit minsan tawagan mo, wala na. So, marami reasons din naman kung bakit hindi na sila nagpapakita. No? Pero for us, sa HR, um, isa rin siya talagang uh, bagay na sana um, Ma- malimit na. And I would agree with you kasi nagha- naghawak din ako ng headhunting. Pero sa amin kasi ang term doon is business support. Mm-hmm. So the business support roles are actually the ones handling supervisory roles, specialist or expert roles. It could be um, uh, hindi lang mga managers and supervisors yan eh. Meron pang iba eh. Minsan Excel experts. May mga ganun yeah. eh. Uh-huh. Consultants. Oh, mga consultants kung ka na kailangan. So, iba't ibang klaseng position yan, pero hindi, definitely hindi yan entry-level positions. Yeah. And, uh, yung ghosting, medyo minimal sa, medyo minimal sa level ng business support or doon sa tinatawag na ni Ron na headhunting or specialized hiring. Kasi specialized people yung hinahanap natin dyan. Uh, I'd say, bakit nga ba? Kasi siguro, Ron, ano no, parang, kasi mas intimate yung relationship. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if the intimate word is the correct term. Pero parang, uh, mas, paano ba yun? Um, di ko alam yung iba pang terms sa mas intimate. Pero parang, mas close kayo ni applicant? Yeah. Mas, di ba? Tama ba? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Kasi, ang ano tutunan ko on with recruitment is not just providing people but you're building relationship with other people as well you're, you're building network so yun yung Correct. recruitment talaga oh. yeah. agree with you that, with the internet term <laughs> oh nga eh oh, wag nyo kami imi-misquote on that ah. we don't mean it on a different way na akala nyo pero yeah Uh, minimal. Pero syempre, may nag-ghosting din dyan, no? Hindi ko itatanggi na kapag specialized hiring yung hawak namin or business support hiring, walang nag-ghost sa amin. Meron din kaya. Kaya lang, siguro yung rate, mas minimal. Pero, di ba ron, mas, 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 mas masakit, no? Mas malupit yung impact kapag yung <laughs> hinahire mo sa specialized hiring sa business support. Yun ang mas, um, ano to, mas nag, mas nag-ghost. Yeah. Lalo na kapag ano, kapag nakapilt yan sa isyo, umasa ka ng tanggapin niya yung offer mo. <laughs> Oo, paasa ka. Paasa ka, tapos i-injanin mo ako. So, uh, we would like to share with you some some tips. No, actually, six, ano to, six tips about uh, making sure na ma-minimize natin yung ghosting and not just minimize, kung ma-achieve sana natin yung zero ghost applicants, mm-hmm. di ba? Mas maganda. And somehow, sana makatulong kami ni Ron sa ano, yung base na rin sa na-experience namin for many years sa HR. At hindi lang yun, ha? Hindi naman kami mahahar as recruitment or talent acquisition specialist way, way back up to now na meron kami trabaho kung hindi naman kami naging applicant pa rin. Yeah. Oo, naging applicant rin naman kami. Kaya kung ikaw, um, if you're an applicant right now, um, sana maka-benefit ka rin sa HR series natin today about ghosting. Kasi uh, hindi lang naman HR yung nag-ghost ng yeah. applicant. Pwede rin niyang baliktad. Pwede si... <laughs> Sorry to say, pwede kami rin na nang gugo sa inyo, yung mga kabaru namin, di ba? So, okay. So, for for our first uh, advice or first suggestion is number one. Number one, baka uh, you lack structure. Yeah. In terms of the hiring process. Yes, oo. Uh-huh. Yung na number one, you lack structure. Ano yung structure na yun? Kasi, baka naman... Uh, I'm talking to ano ah, or we're talking about ni Ron sa mga kapwa namin na uh, HR or recruitment. Yeah. Na yung sinasabing you lack structure. Baka yung structures yung kasi sa office or the way you do your recruitment. Uh, bingi-bingi. Uh, bingi, sorry. Ano bingi-bingi? Bungi-bungi. Nagugulol ako. Bungi-bungi. Or uh, kulang ka lang. Kulang ko lang. Yeah, yeah. Walang maayos na structure. Yung tipo ba na parang okay, so pag tinawagan mo siya sa 
initial uh, phone screening. Ano na? <laughs> ano na, Kuya Kim? <laughs> Di ba? Ano na kasunod? So, kung hindi mo alam ang susunod na proseso, patay tayo dyan. Remember, ang aplikante po, sumusunod yan sa atin. Dahil tayo yung, well, technically, tayo sa recruitment, tayo yung may upper hand, di ba? Yes. In a way. Um, so, syempre, pag sinabi, yung, pag sinabi mo, okay, after the initial screening or after the initial interview, you will proceed to what? Uh, nasabi natin, uh, mag-exam siya. Okay, mag-exam siya. So, at least, sana alam niya na, ah, okay, pang-exam na pala ako. Or, napasa ko pala yung initial interview. So, lahat yan may proseso. Kung wala kang structure, uh, malilito si applicant. Actually, pati ikaw din, malilito ka. Kasi, uh, para tayong ano eh. <laughs> para tayong nanay, actually. So, binabantayan natin yung growth ng application ng mga applicants natin. Meron ka bang mga past experience role na yung parang ano? Yung ano? <laughs> parang meron kang gumagalaw ka sa isang sistema na parang walang structure or kulang-kulang. At bungi-bungi. Ayan na. Hindi na ako nabulal. Bungi-bungi. <laughs> But to be fair, Miss Casey, uh, I am thankful na yung yung mga pinanggalingan ko na na uh, no company ay my system in terms of hiring. So, wala akong problema. Pero yung, uh, yung back home work, parang nag-start kami mag-build ng process from, from scratch in terms of recruitment. Um, ang ang, ang, ang say ko nang dito, Ms. Casey, is ano kasi, um, ang recruitment process, ito kasi yung first na process na makikita ng, employee, ng aplikante sa kumpanya. So, somehow, this will reflect yung image ng company kung paano sila kumilos within themselves. So, kapag wala tayong maayos na structure, sabihin ni aplikante, ah, baka disorganized to or baka magulot yung company na to. So, we really need to, to, to check as well yung ganung image para lalong maingan yung within yung aplikante na mag-apply at the same time, mm-hmm. mo, ata, somehow yung number ng mga numbers. Oo. Oh, oh. Tama-tama sa season natin ngayon, no? Halloween! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kala nyo, multo lang ang nangmumulto. Pero marami yung nangmumulto sa buhay. Oo, ako, no? Tsaka, parang ano pa yun, buong taon kang mumultuhin. Correct! <laughs> so, yun, Ayan, yun, so, ah, uh, yun. Oo, pag talagang kulang ang structure mo, parehas kayong mahihilo ni applicant. Hindi lang siya, pati ikaw. Ikaw. Ikaw na yeah, recruiter or recruitment specialist, may hilo ka din. Kasi, uh, alam nyo, lalo na sa atin, pag volume hiring ang ginagawa natin ron, nakakaloka sa dami ng hinahire. Kailangan bawat isa yan, nasusundan mo. Nasa for testing na ba si ganyan? Di ba, minsan ganyan sa office, minsan uh, sa recruitment office, madalas dyan nagsisigawan. Not because galit kami sa isa't isa, para na kami, um, ano bang magandang description? I don't I don't mean I don't mean this negatively pero parang palengke sa recruitment office. Well, yan yung experience namin, I'm not so sure sa sa yo, pero sa amin. Kasi minsan, oh, kasi syempre volume hiring mamadali, 'di ba? Buong araw jam pa kyan. Ah, uh, sabihin, oh, asa na si Santos? Ganyan. Exam na yan, may sisigaw dun sa kabilang side. Oh, si ano, let's say si Delgado, sa ano siya? Ah, uh, of a final interview niya, etc. Diba yung ganyan? So, dapat lahat nababantayan yeah, natin yeah. sila. At dito mo makikita, pag guardyado mo yung aplikante mo, uh, makikita mo yung, yung development nila sa application. Ah, si ano pala? Si Santos? Umurong na sa, ano, final interview? Ganyan, ganyan. So, kapag may structure ka, maalagaan mo kung nasa na sila. At pag nararamdaman ng aplikante na they are well taken care of by the, the recruitment officer, yung ano kasi yun, Ron, eh, yung human touch. Yeah. Yung human to human interaction na, um, uy, dito, alam, ano, may proseso, alam nila kung nasan ka na. Pag tinanong mo sila ng update, mabibigyan ka. Kasi ang aplikante naman, Uh, hindi naman talaga na... Of course, they always have high hopes na 
sana matanggap ako ganyan. Pero, di ba? Kahit naisip na nila or tanggap din nila yung other side na pwede hindi sila matanggap, ang maaalala nila sa'yo, how you how you took care of them during the application process. Di ba? Yun ang tumatatak eh. Paano ka naalagaan? And mas maluwag mo ring matatanggap. <laughs> If ever na hindi ka po masasa or sa isa. At saka kasi yung chemistry is just a part mo. Sure. Isa pa, isa pa rin sa best way to attract candidate is through other candidates. No? Kung maganda yung proseso, True. may structure ka, um, pwede kang huwag kang mag-invest masyado on the online side or doon maganda rin naman yun. Mm-hmm. Pero, the more na nakakatakan ka ng mag- na mga rabi candidates, magsasabi sila sa ibang candidates na maganda mag-apply dito. So, mas dalawak yung ano mo. La- yung... Oo. Lalo na ngayon, usong-usong ang employee referral or applicant yes. referral. Actually, we have that kind of programs. Meron kaming separate program for employee referrals and we also have applicant referral program. So, magkaiba yun. Magkaiba rin ang premyo. O, oh, di ba may premyo ko? Uh, Pero siyempre, alam mo, kahit na may sabihin nating may premyo yan, ganyan. Um, pag hindi talaga, at ang pangit talaga ng pang, uh, pag-alaga mo sa, sa applicants mo, hindi rin talaga nila yan i-refer sa ibang friends nila. Kasi kung maganda yung memories nila sa'yo, how you took care of them during the job application, sabihin nila sa friends nila, alam mo, oo, hindi ako nakapasa dyan, pero ikaw, try mo, kasi ang ayos nila dyan, um, talagang may proseso sila. Alam mo, hindi ka nila tinadaya, wala silang tinatago sa'yo, transparent sila sa'yo. ba diba? Ganun yun eh. Yes, may yes. may ganong impact. Kasi like, for example, bumagsak sila sa exam, you discuss it honestly na ganun yung scores nila and pag hindi nila na-meet yung cut-off score, then talaga sila makapasok or move to the next process. And alam nila yun, maintindihan nila yun, and matutuwa pa sila sa'yo. So, honestly. That's right. Yes. Okay, moving on to number two. Sige. Number two? <laughs> number two is... Second reason, ma'am. Ang second reason would be, um, it takes so long for you to reply. Mm. Oops. <laughs> Ouch yan. Ouch yan to both sides. Hindi lang yan for HR. If you're an applicant and watching this HR series, mamaya baka ikaw hindi ka nagre-reply sa mga emails ng HR. So, itong number, well, kahit naman yung number one, yung number one mostly medyo pang HR siya. Pero itong number two, applicable yan equally to, to both applicant and recruitment. Yes. May mga Meron ka na bang experience na applicanting ginost ka naman sa email? You are informing them of something and then yun. Marami. Ay, madami. Marami na <laughs> Can po. you tell us something about that marami thing? Meron ka bang hindi makakalimutan na ano? Um, well, pare-parehas naman, pero it's mostly kasi sa buong hiring through text message kasi ako nagsisend <laughs> <laughs> eh, pero di ba kahit naman sa text, they can still ghost you. So, marami rin ang ghost you. Yes, apo. Uh, marami pa. Nag-i-start yan kapag ano, uh, kapag, in, in terms of ND candidate, only applicant, usually, mm-hmm. um, kapag hini-invite mo sila sa interview, mm-hmm. hindi ka sila nag-i-reply, o matagal sila matagal. Pero, at yung mga in this case, it just look like, oh, ito, matagal matagal. On my end, on my opinion, I think it's mas uh, applicable to something that I'm Share why. Uh, somehow, ako personally, I'm not going to make a salary for something that I'm not going to do. Especially if you're going to after an interview, you're going to be able to apply for the process. You're going to be to respond sa isa-isa na I'm sorry, we, you are not uh, really good thing for me. You are the one who are the plus the next thing, you know, screaming and you do. So usually, uh, sobrang tagal natin mag-reply dahil uh, marami tayong pinaprocess na pre-cruiting. Isa-isa yung mga reason, bakit nag-drop out sila, parang gano'n. 
I make sense. Papa. Oh, naman, it's making sense. Kasi ako, I, I, I agree with you. Kasi guilty din ako dyan. At marami rin naman recruitment officers um, or, or HR officers ang somehow uh, may pinagdaanan na ganito or guilty din. Uh, hindi naman sa pinagtatanggol ko yung um, mga kabaro natin or yung field natin. Pero totoo yan, nangyayari talaga yan sa amin. To be honest with you guys, kung hindi ka man HR at nanonood ka ng um, series na to. Um, ano kasi, pag sobrang tambak talaga kami ng aplikante. Uh, kung alam nyo lang at kung nakita nyo lang ang office ng isang recruitment, minsan matangkad pa sa amin yung mga papeles. Bakit ganun kadami ron? Kasi hindi lang naman yung nagre-rely kami. We're not dependent on walk-in applicants alone. Especially at this uh, day and age, hindi lang kami nagde-depend sa walk-in applicants. Well, I'm talking about pre-pandemic ha. Uh, hindi lang kasi sa, sa ngayon na pandemic, uh, medyo minimal or halos wala yung walk-in. No? Sa puro, yeah, on uh, period, puro online. Oo, oh, puro online siya. But it's a different, it's a different battle, all at the same time. Pre-pandemic, hindi lang walk-in ang inaasahan natin. Meron tayong mga applications coming from online na din, kasi mixed methods yan or mixed um strategies, sourcing strategies yan. Kasi sourcing, I also worked as a sourcing strategist, not just um in recruitment during my time. So, um, I did not actually leave recruitment as as recruitment, but um, when I when when there was a career move for me for sourcing strategies, um, of course, no, um, lumipat ako dun sa career move na yun. Pero ano pa rin eh, wala namang nagbago dun, recruitment pa rin naman yun. So, hindi lang walk-in, so mayroon kaming online applications. And if you remember ron, maraming maraming job fairs back then. Mm -hmm. Yes, super. Super dami. And ikaw na nanonood sa amin ngayon, baka nakasali ka na sa mga uh, job fairs in the past. Baka naman you can comment down kung ano yung mga naging experience mo dati sa pagjo-job fair pre-pandemic. Kamusta ang job fair experience mo? Or nakaranas ka na ba na yung nag naglalaglag ng application or resume sa isang dropbox? <laughs> Nagpauso kami ng ganyan dati sa Robinsons. Um... Lagay kami ng malaking ano malaking drop box na may entrance. Uh -huh. uh, tapos uh, they can either drop their resumes or meron kaming form sa gilid or sa ibabaw ng box na kung nakalimutan nila na magdala talaga ng actual resume. O di ba? May nakaready na kami application form. <laughs> so basically yung mga essentials lang naman tungkol sa kanila para magkaroon lang kami ng glimpse of who they are. Uh, doon nakalagay yun. So, yun na rin na yung hulog na sa box. Doon, yun pa lang sa Dropbox, pag kinukuha namin yun, pag hinaharvest namin, sobrang daming applicant, uh, applications rather. And, yun, isipin yun na lang, ilan lang kami, like say, sampu lang kami, for example. Tapos, more than 100 applications ang nare-receive namin a day. No? Well, magkaiba naman kasi tayo ng industry kasi sa BPO, alam mo naman, sobrang walang katapusan ng hiring. <laughs> exactly. Walang katapusan ng hiring. Although sa sales din naman, di ba, marami. Pero sa amin kasi... Iba-ibang laban sa BPO. Eh. I promise. Promise talaga. Yung mga taga-BPO dyan, comment down below. Kasi sobrang iba ang mundo natin sa BPO. Pero happy na rin ako na nabugbog ako doon ng sobrang experience when it comes to talent acquisition and sourcing strategy. Kasi talagang pati cost per hire na naaral ko or natutunan ko dahil sa trabaho ko, which I'm very, very, very thankful. Kaya dito, pag sinabing mag-reply ka, sana mag-reply ka kahit applicant ka or HR. Yun din ang masyashare namin ni Ron sa mga recruitment officers, na ba? Hanggat kaya, please, reply yeah. tayo. Kasi kailangan ng aplikante ng closure. O, oh, di ba? Para sa mga relations. Oo, oh, oh, uh, seryoso yun. Just, just, just to add, Ms. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, yes, we understand that there are there may be lots of applications na nare-receive ni, ni HR. But that is not a reason for you not to 
provide uh, feedback sa aplikante. No? Uh, as much as possible, balikan natin sila kasi they are waiting for for feedback. No? And um, somehow, yung feedback natin would help them to to um, to uh, ano ba, to improve their skills para sa next na interview. No? It, it would help us both ways. Eh, no? So, it's really important na na balikan talaga ang mga aplikante at huwag silang hayaan lang na walang closure na red kaya nabanggit mo. True. Uh, talagang ano, kumbaga, sana mag-reply po tayo. Sa applicant side naman, if you're an applicant, when you receive a text message, an email, or a Viber message, or in whatever form na kinakontak kayo, mamaya, baka sa LinkedIn kayo kinakausap, um, sana po mag-reply tayo if we are interested. And if we are interested with the offer, kunyari offer na, or in, in schedule ka for interview, please, if hindi nakakayanin, hindi mo na gusto, uh, please let us know. Mag-reply, mm-mm. ano naman eh, um, while, well, napakaraming applicant. Siyempre, kung ikaw yung isa sa mga napili para i-invite for initial interview, siyempre, may, may ano na yun, di ba? May konting edge na yun. Kasi, ang ginagawa naman natin is, ano eh, di ba? We do paper screening first, di ba? So, kung sa paper screening, pasok ka, malaki ang chance na ma-interview ka or ma-line up ka for initial interview. So, kung hindi mo na talaga kakayanin or parang hindi mo na rin gustong ituloy pa, sabihin mo lang. Or, kung meron ka namang emergency, like tumapat sa, you know, whatever, like may, nakab- may nakaburol ka na kapamilya at doon sa araw na nas- nasa burol kayo ng family, doon na tapat yung interview. Well, it's your choice whether to still push through with the interview despite of your personal circumstances or you would like a reschedule. Uh, always sobrang remember, ma- tao sa mga mahal- <laughs> Exactly. Sobrang mahalaga ma- communication. You need to communicate whatever. Na, uh, yes, you need to really communicate. Applicable to both sides, not just for our applicants, but also for the recruitment or HR um, fellows. Na we we always need to communicate whatever is happening or ano man ang gusto nating iparating sa kanila. And maganda talaga na nagre-reply tayo, whether verbally, no? For example, uh, sa interview, alam mo nang bagsak siya at talagang malinaw na based on our metrics, based on our uh, yung parang mga required competencies and skills na hindi na talaga siya makaka-move pa sa next stage of the process make it clear that the person failed in the process this is the hardest part ano ron um to discuss this bad news in front of them pero remember do not prolong the agony of your applicant ito din yung ano eh, ito yung natutunan ko ron sa BPO kasi di ba dun nga ako galing dahil sa sobrang dami naming aplikante uh, it's so hard to, to really um, discuss with them that they fail but we have to do it face to face kasi para paglabas niya maha- kahit sabihin mong nasaktan siya or what uh, at least a day or two um Uh, parang magtutuwel siya dun sa emotion niya. But at least, pag uwi niya, bit-bit niya yung katotohanan at bit-bit niya yung reality na he did not make it this time. Yun lagi ko sinasabi, you did not make it this time, but so we will inform uh, we will inform our applicants about our reapplication process because we uh, we have a policy on reapplication and you can reapply after six months. So, Yes. Well, baka makalimutan ko kasi. Sige, sure. Kasi. Sure, sure. Yes. Ang, us- ang usual nating um, script dyan is we will get back to you. <laughs> Di ba yun? Ay, oo. Oh, oh. Ang ever, ever famous, ever famous will get back to you if you don't hear uh-huh. from us in two days. Ganyan. 
Yes. Oh, Alam the problem mo. Is, oh yeah, sorry. Go ahead. The problem is, hin- nag-fail tayo na balikan sila. So, pag sila natin hindi na get back to you, make sure, as a recruiter, balikan nyo talaga sila. Kasi magiging uh-huh. free sila. If you cannot uh, say na you fail in person, and you you, you, th- you think helpful na sabihin na babalikan ka na, balikan nyo talaga sila after a few days. Parang gano'n. Oo. Oh, oh. Balikan nyo sila after a few days. Pwedeng, mag-send kayo ng formal email after, kunyari, yeah. ang sabi nyo, pangako nyo to this, um, i-email nyo sila ng isang formal email, not just formal, but um, a nicely written email. Huwag arrogant. Alam mong marami minsan dyan, ang HR na minsan ang arrogante ng email. Huwag ganon. <laughs> Huwag ganon. Kasi kahit email yan, mukha mo pa rin ang nakikita nila dyan sa message na yan. So, Uh, send them a formal and nicely written email and tell them that they th- uh, they did not make it because blah 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 para magkaroon ng closure kasi ang aplikante naghahanap niya ng trabaho at madalas urgent ang paghahanap nila ng trabaho for a lot of different reasons kasi they can be breadwinners you know so make sure lang na ano sana you 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 send them a reply kung hindi mo kaya ng verbal, pero kung kaya mo ng face-to-face, at kung kakayanin mo ng face-to-face, please, sabihin mo na, bakit? That works on your favor. Kasi, hindi mo, wala kang alalahanin after two days run. <laughs> wala, di ba? Pag alis niya, tapos, may closure kayo, move to the next applicant, wala ka ng anything, ay, mababalik na two days. I guess, sa ngayon, yun na ang the best kung masasuggest. Na discuss with them, in a very professional manner that they did not make it. And, uh, nasa pag-handle mo yan kung paano mo sasabihin sa applicant. And applicants, our dear applicants watching our HR series, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Naisingit ko pa talaga, di ba? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Brown Bags TV or BBTV. Ayan, going back. Uh, sa, sa ating mga applicants watching this series, uh, maganda talaga na kung, kung hirap din kayo minsan sa mga bad news sa application, uh, sana you would appreciate kapag sinabi na sa inyo right there and there, no? Bago kayo umalis sa office na you didn't make it. It's for your own good. It's for your own good. Because you can find more opportunities that, you know, than, than just hoping, expecting, na babalik sa'yo one day, wow. <laughs> Or, ano, ano lang ah, uh, kwentong pag-ibig eh, no? one day, babalik. So, hindi. Hindi naman sa hindi babalik, but at least, makakaplano ka ano nang next move mo kung hindi ka pumasa sa job application na to, di ba? Alam naman namin na mayroon kayong multiple applications. Naniniwala ka ba ron na pag pag aplikante laging isa lang ina-applyan. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> ako bilang aplikante multi nagpapasaya ng multiple applications. Ako din no nung aplikante pa ako. Madami talaga akong sinesendan. Syempre more chances of winning parang lotto lang 'yan. Syempre apply and apply. Apply and apply until you die. <laughs> Ganun karami. Syempre tapos syempre ako kasi iniisip ko hindi naman lahat nang kunyari, nag-apply ka 100 applications. Ah, uh, hindi naman yan lahat babalik sa'yo sa expected timeline mo. Minsan pa nga, after 6 months, alam, may trabaho na ako. Ngayon lang tinatawagan ito. Ah, uh, may mga ganong pangyayari. Minsan, hindi rin dahil hindi ka pinansin nung recruiter na yon for the last 6 months or the day after mo sinamit yung application mo. That HR personnel may probably experiencing uh, loads of application. Yung sobrang dami nung bumabagsak sa kanilang applications. May ganun eh. Hindi siya talaga naiiwasan. But, pero syempre, of course, lagi natin sinasabi sa ating mga fellow HR na syempre, we, we have to have um, a process para hindi naman tayo natatambakan talaga. Kasi kawawa din naman, nag-effort yung aplikate din talaga na mag-respond dun sa pagtawag natin ng mga application dun marami tayong vacancies. So, structure yan. And that leads to number three. Yeah. <laughs> number three natin is um, probably you 
lack interview structure or interview process. Walang structure ang interview. So, uh, hindi ko alam kung may ganito kang experience, no? Kasi parang you're blessed with a good employer. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> ako din naman, uh, dun sa pinagtrabahuhan ko, uh, lalo na dun sa BPO, okay naman yung process namin. Kasi, um, nung dumating ako, konting enhancements na lang yung ginawa namin dun sa process. Eh. Pero, karamihan ng process naman, structured na. So, if you're an HR fellow na namin na sa tingin nyo yung pinagtatrabahuhan ninyo parang walang interview process or walang structure process sa interview sana ano uh, malam, uh, magawa nyo ng paraan na magkaroon kayo ng proseso kasi yung proseso hindi lang yan sa benefit ng applicants uh, yes. mas favorable yan sa'yo hindi ka mahihilo sa proseso and making sure also ito kasi din eh you'll not um, fall into legal um, concerns. Diba? Ano, meron ka bang naaalala na ano, Ron, sa mga interviews nyo na bawal tanungin or ito ang proseso ng interview? May, may structure kayo nga, may organized structure ba kayo sa interviews? Yes, kasi uh, or, mayroon po kami process talaga in terms of interview. Pag napasakot ako ng screening, mag- i-endorse kasi ka dito department, tapos i-endorse kasi kita ka sa time na ito. So, meron talaga ganyan sa place of process. I think it really helps talo na sa mga age, sa mga recruiter, tsaka sa mga bagong recruiter to have that process kasi may guide sila na susundan. At maganda rin na dapat umpisa pala ng interview. Ini-inform mo na sa aplikate na ito yung process mo. Para guided din siya. Correct, correct. True, I agree. Actually, um, yung ano, yung isa pang uh, pwede natin i-share dyan is meron talaga mga companies, depende talaga yan sa organization. Di ba sabi nga ni Aron, minsan sabi, bakit doon sa kabila, dadalawal na interview ko, tapos dito sa inyo, lima. Lima. <laughs> Nakakaloka. Sa inyo ba, Ron? Uh, well, Ilan na ba yung napasukan mo? Meron ka bang masasabing um, may pinagkaiba sila? You don't really have to mention the name of the companies. Pero may nakita ka bang difference dun sa pagkaka-organize or structure ng interview process nila ang dalawa? Yes. Um, so, common po sa mga pinasukan ko is um, yung recruiter usually conducts the initial screening. So, after the initial screening, automatic he enters to the uh, line manager or yung department, kung saan siya department na papasukan. Kasi it, it works uh, both ways. Number one, initial screening ni recruiter to check the, cult- the culture fit um, and other uh, stuff. No? Tapos yung second na part is to check if... Uh, skills at uh, expertise-wise kung fit ba siya doon sa, sa department. So usually, the ganun lang yung process din. Sa after yun, uh, endorse na for job offer. True, true. Actually, sa amin, uh, ano, iba-iba ang, inter- ito ang nakakaloka. Uh, sa amin, iba-iba ang interview structure and process per client. Kunwari, kasi uh, maraming technical accounts kaming hinahawakan at uh, highly technical yung mga hinahire naming mga tao for that. Kunwari, si account, client A, client B, client C, iba-iba sila ng interview structure. Kasi for example, pag pumasa ng initial interview, ang gusto nila, talon sa, ano, sa uh, managerial interview and client interview, tatlo. Pag pumasa sila doon sa tatlong interview, saka lang nila pa-examine ng computer-based test. May ganun. Minsan naman, gusto nila yung conservative process, initial interview muna, tapos computer-based test, after noon, saka siya sa final interview with the recruitment specialist, after recruitment specialist, um, interview with the client. So, dapat talaga meron ka mga structure. Otherwise, wala. Patay tayo dyan. Kasi, 
pag nagka at saka isa pa medyo ang burden na sa atin no sa ating mga recruitment officers kasi uh, kailangan hindi natin makalimutan yung mga structure niya especially kapag complicated uh, meron kaming um, isang client super ano ba yun maselan ba ang magandang term are you familiar with yung mga voice test na mga versant ganyan yung mga yeah parang um, uh, oh, oh yung versant um, I guess it's a brand para siyang ano it's a it's a speaking test so meron ka talagang live assessor na American or or Australian sa kabilang line so dadalhin namin sila sa isang interview room sila lang magkisa ng live assessor pero yung live assessor nasa ano yun nasa phone naka speaker phone saka may iba kaming system na ginagamit yung ver- may yung version nga na assessment platform may kasama na rin yung uh, tool for speaking test so okay. uh, kailangan mo pumasa kasi um hindi mo alam kung ano itatanong nila eh <laughs> exactly kasi live. like oh live eh kanya so how's your day today pag ginanya ka na how's your day today isipin mo na tanong yun isang way na yun to assess so dapat you know you, you speak with confidence fluency mga ganyan ganyan so yan yan naman yung versant na yan nilalagay sa dulo ng process kaya kumbaga uh, sorry to our applicants hindi purposely done yan para hiluhin kayo sa process uh, kasi we, we are profiling you for a certain client ba diba? So, kung match ka kay, kung ang qualifications mo match kay client A, edi, ang susundin namin proseso sa recruitment or hiring process would be kung ano yung pinatutupad kay client A. Kasi kung client, kay client B ka profile or match uh, kay client C, D, E, F, G, ang susundin natin kung ano yung requirements nila. Kasi ang mga clients, since iba-iba yung type of business nila, meron kasi dyan banking, meron customer service, meron technical sales. Yan ang pinakamahirap, tech sales. In my entire career in recruitment, ito yung pinakamahirap sa akin, Ron. To get a highly technical person, super techy person, who can also do sales at the same time. Yeah. Sobrang hindi. Yung mga talagang requirement. May mga ganyang requirement at kami naluloka talaga, promise. Kaya, bawat isang aplikanting pasok sa ganyang, ano, ka- career na requirement, gintong-ginto ka sa amin. True, true. True. Pero, uh, I think ang, ang bottom line dito, Ms. Casey, is in terms of the third item is, um, yes, we agree na iba-iba ang proseso per organization. Yes, but, that's right. But, but communicate with your applicant the process para ma-manage din yung expectations nila. Exactly. Kaya nga, every step of the way, sana kahit isa sa atin, walang mag-ghost. Um, applicant ka man, or HR, HR ka. Huwag po sana natin uh, ma- mag-ghost yung kausap natin in any way possible. Kasi dito tayo, we, we hold on to one another. Dahil pag nagkaroon sila, win-win situation yan eh. Pag nagkaroon sila ng work, na-hire sila, magaling. Kasi it adds up to our performance also na nagagawa natin yung trabaho natin as recruitment, di ba? Yeah. And speaking of our trabaho, let's move to, <laughs> to number four. Number four is about make your job um, description realistic. Nako, ano ba ang mga hindi realistic? Meron ka na ba nakita ng hindi realistic na job description? Ang dami online. Talaga? Sige. Yeah. Can you share us um, maybe a funny one or a, yeah. know, a disgusting yeah. one a that you, you read? Ah, uh, super funny na ang graphics ko. Kasi part ng job description kasi is uh, yung job requirement uh, qualification, you know? So, part yun. So, meron doon, nag ano, na, uh, meron sa, nakasulat dun sa job requirements niya na they're looking for an HR assistant. Uh, HR assistant, tapos, 
open sila sa fresh grad pero required ang 10 years experience saan ka nakakita? OMG! OMG! <laughs> Uh, bawal magmura kasi may MTRCD siguro sa ano, YouTube. Oo, saan ka nakakita nyo? OMG! Saan ka nakakita nyo? So nakakatawa kasi of course, yung mga aplikante naguguluhan, hindi clear yung nakalagay sa job description. Which, ang, ang result is, is na binila yung application, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kahit, kahit contactin mo sila on phone. So kailangan realistic yung job description based on your requirement, based on your mm-hmm. expectation. Ikaw ba? Meron ka ba nakakatawa? Oo, OMG talaga yan. Promise. OMG. Meron akong nakita somewhere. Hindi hindi sa online eh. I guess it was offered to... To someone. Hindi ko na lang sasabihin how this person is related to me for privacy purposes. Sabi niya sa akin, Crazy, ano to? Bakit sales consultant? Sabi ko... Wow, sales consultant. Ano yan? Baka maganda offer sa'yo. Siyempre, hindi ko pa naman nakikita yung parang pinaka-job. Ano. Yeah. Sabi niya, hindi eh. Kasi na- naiinis siya. Ko, Bakit ba? Ano ba meron? Sales consultant daw. Di, siyempre, nga naman. Ganda pakinggan. Di ba? Nung kinuwento niya na sa'kin lahat ng details, ba't siya naiinis? Uh, ang ano pala niya is to, ano, to, um, ang trabaho talaga is magbebenta siya ng mga kawali uh, sa mall yung nagpo-promote parang With, promote sir promote, parang ganon promodizer di ba meron silang parang area tapos may demonstration of the of the yeah, yeah. ano yan, stove or kawali ganyan alam mo well ano lang ha disclaimer lang to our to our audience watching us now Ah, uh, hindi ko namin minamalayan or we're not discriminating any type of job here. Ang sinasabi lang namin is we have to be realistic and correct when we write the job description. Ano bang ang ibig sabihin ng consultant? When you're a consultant, you're providing expertise on a certain um, field na kung saan um, makakapagbigay ka ng solusyon sa problema ng isang kumpanya or ng isang organization or ng isang community. That's why that's why they are running to you and seeking your help as a consultant because you are a third party person na hindi related sa kumpanya. Then you can see objectively where the problem is in the company or organization. That is a consultant. You have an expertise or strong expertise and experience on something to solve a problem. Di ba, Ron? Uh, alam namin uh, yan kasi yan yung trabaho namin ni Ron ngayon. <laughs> oh, no. Pero, um, I, I think, um, just, just to add, I think, isa ito sa mga new strategies kasi ng mga employers right na to, to, to create uh, job titles no, na, na bago sa pandemic. Which is fine. So, kasi... Baga, ang sarap-sarap pakinggan. I'm a sales uh, consultant. Wow. Yeah, that, that is fine. Considering na, uh, I think it's their strategy to, to, to attract applicants. Applicants, yes. The thing is, if you're going to, to give that kind of job title, make sure that the job description is clear, the pay is clear, and the job requirements are clear. No, kasi hindi lang naman one way yan is that the job title lang titignan. Dapat lahat holistically aligned. No, so so part din ng whole din ng, ng employer to make it clear para manage yung expectations ni applicant. Correct. So ingat po tayo while while we agree na magandang uh, magkaroon ng play of words, no? Or na, na parang maganda yung pagkaka-job title dun sa position. Ingat lang po tayo sa job description kasi we might be projecting false hopes to our applicants. Kasi, mm-hmm. gaya yung sinabi ni Ron, okay daw, open for fresh grads. Tapos, nag- uh, sa dulo ng description, naghahanap ka pala ng 10 years experience on something. Then, hindi match yun. Alin ba talaga hinahanap mo? Okay lang ba talaga na fresh grads? Yeah. Or, or yung may 10 years experience, yun ang hinahanap mo. Alin ba ate? Kuya, alin dun sa dalawa talaga? Tapos yung isa nga, yung sinabi ng friend ko na sales consultant. Um, I feel sad for this person kasi nga, para siyang hinilo or na, 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 na English siya dun sa ganong offer sa kanya. 
And um, may nakita kasi ano, actually Ron, si ano siya, um, meron siya business consultant siya sa totoo na. So syempre, um, nung binasa niya yon, parang syempre kahit siya kaya niyang i-assess yung sarili niya, hindi siya match doon. Kasi may 15 years na siya eh, na experience eh, and nagbe-business consultancy siya on the side. So, hindi match yon nung nakita niya yung job description. Palibhasa, may nakitang mga sales-sales na words dun sa kanyang CV, but it doesn't... Kaya yeah, sa <laughs> Parang, ganun lang ba yun? Kaya nga, for, uh, uh, for us, na nasa recruitment or talent acquisition, we have to make sure that we review the CVs of our um, applicants. Hindi yung pag nakakakita lang tayo ng keyword, ah, may sales, ah, may ganito. Parang, let's, ano muna siguro, parang, let's try to understand ano yung konteksto ng trabaho niya or ng kanyang experience. Na parang, talaga ba? Sales ba? O baka naman hindi, hindi sales to, pero meron lang siyang sinasabi about sales. So, we need to be keen or critical or, or ano, um, yun nga, keen sa pagbabasa ng resume or pagre-review. Kasi doon natin may iintindihan ano yung konteksto ng trabaho nila all these years. And yung work na in sa kanya, yung sinasabi ko nga sa yung magpo-promo sa mall, you know, okay naman yung job eh. Ang nag- hindi naman kasi yun ang question eh. That's, hindi naman yun yung up for debate. Ang debate lang dito is, sana you crafted the job uh, description well. Good enough. Kasi alam mo, instead na makakreate ka ng magandang impression sa applicants ninyo, remember, tayong mga nasa recruitment and acquisition, tayo ang mukha ng companies. We are the ones facing the the applicants. Tayo ang kumbaga sa model sa magazine, tayo yung tayo yung model. Tayo yung model, no? Kahit hindi man siguro nila gusto ang itsura natin to be the model or hindi man tayo model like, oh, ba? Kung hindi man tayo ganun, inevitable yun, tayo ang nakaharap sa aplikate. Whatever we do, it reflects the company. And manloko or manira tayo or mambastos tayo ng aplikante, mandiscriminate tayo ng aplikante, sa atin yan mabags. Actually, hindi lang sa atin. Walang kamalay-malay si company, inilagay mo siya sa alanganin. I had this client, this year lang, uh, hindi ko nasasabihin kasi very sensitive kung nasang industriya siya at kung sino siya. Pero, I was called, kasi nga nasa consultancy na ako, I was called to help them because they were sued for for something, for discrimination, and uh, only to find out the discrimination that occurred actually, uh, hindi naman siya purposely done, Ron. But it's rooting from ignorance about the law, ignorance about equality or equal opportunity policies and principles and all that, and yon lumaki ang problema na il- nalagay ang kumpanya sa alanganin and so now mas okay na sila sa, ma- sa matter na yan yung, yung matter na inilapit na na sa akin na ayos na namin together they're, they're now okay pero yun nga, isa yan sa impact na pwedeng magawa ng isang wrong move ng isang HR or ng recruitment dahil tayo yung maharap sa aplikante so we need to make sure na hindi lang sa job description tayo clear, pero sa lahat-lahat ng proseso, clear talaga and for number five, number in five. In terms of process. <laughs> oh, in terms of process, ah, uh, uh, yon. Uh, so for number five, ang number five natin is you automated the process in the wrong way. So ano? Can I get Sure. Ah. Uh-uh. Right now, since we are in the digital age, we are keen on you know, automating everything. Even the recruitment process, we get our time to look at job system, which we usually do. Na dating ginagawa ng HR, we screen manually, but right now it is the system who screens the uh, application support. So we just wait and let them recommend the new best applicants. Um, pero meron ko kung nga sa, sa LinkedIn last time, ang sabi nyo na, uh, because of automating everything, nakakalimutan natin na 
ang isa sa mga salitang mubo o salitang human resource ay yung salitang human. No? So, nakalimutan natin ibalik yung pagiging tao doon sa human resource. No? I, I think it's it's happening, no? Kung, kung titingnan natin na sa bawat sa progress, laging unang naapektuhan is yung tao. No? Like, uh, for example, um, tumataas yung demand for digital digitalization of systems dahil madidigital na sino unang mawawala mas madaling tanggalin yung tao over the system no so siya sabi ng companies okay magtanggal tayo ng tao kasi pwede nang i-automate itong ganitong system which is a problem i think so bilang mga HR it is a responsibility to bring back yung 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 yung, yung human doon sa human resource no ang ang system hindi siya marunong mag-empathize wala siyang empathy no wala siyang genuine interest or yung authenticity no? meron yon sa atin bilang tao no bilang mga HR we need to promote that no maging tao tayo during recruitment process maging tao tayo during uh, interview during hiring no? kasi nagre-reflect ito nagre-reflect yung pagiging tao natin sa kung ano ba yung organization na kinabibili ng mga True, kasi um, to add also to Aaron's insights, um, alam mo, wala naman problema kung mag-automate tayo ng sistema. In fact, uh, makaka-relate kayo whether ikaw ay applicant or, or well, applicant sa mga panahon ngayon kasi iba na noon, many years ago ron, the, the HR landscape or sabihin na natin the hiring landscape, the hiring process landscape really changed so much. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, if ikaw yung applicant na nanonood sa amin na sabihin na natin, applicante sa mga panahon ngayon, at ikaw ay, let's say, applicante naman many, 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 many one daming many, many years uh-huh. ago, uh-huh. you can see the difference. Eh. Kahit ang mga nanonood din sa atin ngayon na HR siya, Marami nang nagbago sa proseso at landscape ng buhay natin as HR. Isa na dyan yung tinatawag na ATS or Applicant Tracking System. Sa Applicant yeah. Tracking System, kung mapapansin nyo, sasabihin ni HR, Uy, uh, when you submit your application, log into this website, ganyan. Tapos, uh, create an online profile or online CV or upload your CV. Ganyan eh. Iba-iba rin naman yung process na yan. Tsaka, Iba-iba rin yung ginagamit ng applicant tracking system. Mag-mention na ako ng brands ha, kasi kahit hindi tayo sponsored, kasi para mas makarelate yung mga tao. Fami- Ito ang pinaka-famous sa Philippines kahit noon pa. Job Street. Di ba? Yeah. <laughs> Job Street, di ba? Job Street Select. Ah, di. Yung Job Street Select, headhunting firm yan. Pero sila rin ang may-ari niyan. Yung jobstreet.com, sila yung... Uh, mag, ano ka, maglagay ka na resume mo doon, tapos pag nakakita ka ng vacancy, uh, may kiklik ka lang, tapos apply ka doon, apply. Tayo namang HR o kami, nung time na nag-subscribe kami sa job, uh, job street, meron kami admin rights. So, we can do candidate mining. Yeah, see. Okay. Ah, kayo rin. Kayo. Yes. So, kami, nagba- I mean, yung, hindi kami, hindi kami ni Ron, yung company namin, <laughs> nagbabayad ng subscription sa Job Street, and then we ca- we do candidate mining. When you say candidate mining, ang ibig sabihin nun, um, in layman's term, ano, magda-dive in kami sa dami ng applications, tapos manghahalukay kami doon. <laughs> Sino ba ang best fit doon sa aming vacancy? Ganun. Kaya, candidate mining, you mine a candidate. Uh, pero ngayon, Ron, no, iba na yung mine, eh. Ang mine ngayon yung sa online selling. Pamain! <laughs> oh, di ba? Mga pamain, pamain. <laughs> Oy, pamain yan. Okay, but anyway. So, yun. Uh, ganun yung nangyayari sa amin. Uh, so, bukod doon, meron pang marami. Marami pang website. Indeed. Ayan, indeed.com. LinkedIn Recruiter ba? Ay, oo. Oh, oo, oh. oo, oh, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Can you share with them? Can you describe with them how LinkedIn Recruiter works? Yeah. Uh, so, yung LinkedIn Recruiter is is a subsystem, subsystem within the LinkedIn website no, na parang specifically for recruiter. Tapos, uh, so pwede kang mag-organize sa recruiter, pwede kang mag-organize sa LinkedIn ng mga potential applicant na pwede mong kontakin through LinkedIn as well. Pero, ang kinagandaan kasi sa LinkedIn recruiter, you can just use keywords related to your uh, 
Ano Little talaga siya, eh, no? Uh, what they call this? Uh, very, very automated na talaga. May mga yeah. keywords ka na lang nagagamitin. Eh, maka- maglalabasan yung related doon. Marami kang mapipiti. Uh, actually, alam mo, Ron, hindi lang applicant tracking system. Meron din tayo. Meron kasi kaming ano, ginagamit na certain system sa dati kong company na... Uh, ano siya, applicant tracking system siya, pero ano siya, hindi na lang siya pang hiring. So, namumove namin, kaya lang baka, nagdadahan-dahan ako sa brands, baka kasi yung brand nung ginagamit namin, baka ano, hindi pwede. Australian brand pa to? Kasi may ganyan din kami. Oo, oh, oh, Australian brand yun. Um, so, ano siya, namumove mo yung applicant, ang galing eh, parang, parang game eh, no? Uh, so, pag na, pag may ano na si applicant uh, profile na siya de kunyari tapos na initial screening maglalagay ka na ng results no okay pasado siya pass or fail yeah, yeah, pag click uh, mo yung pass pasado siya tapos kung gusto mong maglagay sorry po sa matching <laughs> uh, sorry po may allergic rhinitis yung kasama ko rito <laughs> ayun so Uh, pass or fail, pag kinlik mo yung pass, maglalagay ka ng notes, bakit siya pumasa, etc., etc. So, magmove na yung application niya to kung ano man yung next mong process. Kung computer-based, oo, oh, oh, kung computer-based test yan, dun din siya, sorry! So, <laughs> mabahing. Um, kasi sila. <laughs> For Halloween. Ayaw nila ng maraming cobwebs sa paligid. O, oh, diba? Uh, ayun, so, Ayun, lilipat mo siya sa computer-based test, tapos pag pumasa siya or may score siya, lilitaw ulit yun doon. Tapos, pass or fail, click mo yung pass, eh di magmamove siya doon sa next. Ganun siya, tapos nakakatuwa. So, pag na-reach niya na yung final interview, syempre, kiklik mo ulit yung pass kung pumasa siya. Tapos, notes, ganyan. After noon, ma-hire na siya, di ba? Ang cute, kasi nag... Uh, well, yun lang yung ko, ang cute, kasi mag-generate na siya ng employee ID. Yeah, monitoring. Sobrang hindi na lang siya applicant tracking system. Kasi mas maka... Well, although ba, ay, ay, ayoko namang malayo tayo dun sa topic natin, no? Pero for for companies who might be watching right now, try to buy uh, a system like this. Yung isang buo. Kasi kung hiwalay yung applicant tracking system mo, tapos hiwalay din yung ESS mo. ESS is Employee Self-Service. Yung Employee Self-Service kasi ron, yung siya yung, doon siya magsisimula sa pag-generate ng employee ID. Yun yeah. yung simula ng proseso niya. Tapos, naka-upload doon yung mga leaves, kailan ka mag-file na, self, ano eh, self-reporting, um, tsaka self-administered, ano siya, system na, mag-file ka ng leave, kailan, may calendar doon, ganyan. Tapos, kung kanino siya dapat, o kung sino approver mo, i-approve niya yun. So, makikita mo doon, magre-reflect. So, kahit di kayo mag-usap, ganun. Or, mag-file ka ng SSS loan, doon mo na rin lalagay yung requirements, upload mo doon, tapos i-click mo doon yung request, papasok sa HR, asikasuhin ka ni HR. Alam mo yun, um, sobrang automated. Pero, babalik ako kay Ron, sabi niya kanina, sana hindi natin makalimutan the human word under HR na human resources management or human resource development. Wherein, even if everything is automated uh, we need to remember the human interaction may mga, kasi alam nyo ba yung mga applicant tracking system niya, pag rejected si applicant like they failed, meron kang ikiklik dyan eh, kunyari, um, kunyari ron, 20 yung bagsak today uh, um, nagegenerate mo kasi yung report doon eh kung ilan na nagfail today, kunyari ihaharap niya sa'yo yung 20 na bumagsak Mag-click ka lang ng isang click doon yung reject letter. Magsisend yan ng rejection letter sa kanila. Yung mga pre, exactly. uh, yung mga templated um, letters na. Letters, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nako-customize yan, pero minsan hindi na kinu-customize na iba. Always remember, um, i-assess mo rin yung situation as to how you can be very human to your applicant. May mga circumstances, kahit pare-parehas yan bagsak, may iba't iba silang circumstances why they fail. Kaya nga sabi nung number 4 natin, di ba? Um, sabi, parang uh, yung number 4 is you automated the system in a wrong way. 
di ba? Mm-hmm. Baka mamaya, send ka ng send ng rejection letter na nandun sa system, pero hindi yun yung rejection letter applicable dun sa circumstance ng applicant. Right? Oh. Di ba? So, parang ang ano natin dyan is we need to make sure that we're not losing the human side and the human touch of our um, of our uh, our relationship with the applicant. Tao tayo, tao sila. Oo, oh. oh, gawin mo namang human yung proseso. Di ba? Tama si Ron, walang empathy yung system. And I would agree na pag automated na lahat ng system, alam mo, additional info na lang to. No? Uh, madaling, ano, labor, that's that's what you call labor saving device. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Marami tayong, ano, matatanggal na, na sa recruitment. Kasi kung yung mga prosesong kaya ng gawin ng system, ay kaya na niya. Then, ang, ang, ang general outcome nun is magbawas ng tao. Pero mag-disquisit ka na yes. yung I think sure. very important thing. Sure. Kasi, yeah, because uh, di dahil sobrang lagi na tayo nag-automate, parang we are moving towards the path uh, na automating everything particularly this thing. Um, we need to make sure that the automation system is accommodating to the first needs of the workers, particularly to persons with disabilities or applicants with disabilities. Exactly! Yes. Yeah. Hindi lahat ng automated system is naka-accommodate sa needs na applicants with disabilities. So we need to make sure that and we need to hire someone, an expert from the field, no? and Miss Chrissy can help you with employers, <laughs> yes. no? to, to, to think of strategies that will make our system, our recruitment process, kahit automated siya, as inclusive as possible. And as human as possible. Yes. Thank you very much, Aaron, for bringing that up. Kasi for those people who are regularly watching, um, the, the episodes here sa channel ko, aware sila na, bukod sa HR ako, aware sila na yung inclusive employment for persons with disability or disability inclusion is also one of my advocacies and one of the things na bahagi ng aking consultancy uh, yung professional practice on consultancy aware sila dun um, kasi sa ibang episodes I, I guess na mention na rin yan a couple of times and tama si Ron dun kaya nga we need to make the process human again and again sinasabi namin there's nothing wrong with the digitization of, of things or automating things using different um, systems in fact, ang, ang pwede ko nga ding maidagdag dyan, Ron, when you buy or purchase a system, make sure na meron siyang uh, accessibility features or yes. sabihin na natin na masasabi natin um, ano to eh, yung inclusive siya, meaning yung, yung nababasa, kung, kung gumagamit man yung yung applicant mo, if that's a blind person and gumagamit siya ng screen reader or voice over technology, make sure that the, the applicant tracking system or whatever system you're using is an accessible platform. Kasi alam nyo, um, ito yung mga bagay na kailangan pa nating lawakan yung understanding about inclusive hiring, inclusive employment. Kasi hindi lang naman persons with disabilities yung nangangailangan ng tinatawag ng respect for diversity and inclusion. Yan. So, nakalink sa description below yung previous episode natin on diversity and inclusion. Yung shock ka ba? Sana po, um, kung hindi nyo pa siya napapanood, panoorin nyo siya kasi doon natin mas na-emphasize na um, yung persons with disabilities are not the people you think they are dahil lang persons with disabilities are highly capable people. In fact, super agree dyan si Ron kasi parehas kami ng advocacy, di ba? Yes. Na into inclusion talaga kami. Na hindi lang LGBT ang nangangailangan na, ng respeto uh, or, or paggalang sa diverse background nila pero lahat ng tao. So, yun. Kaya when you automate the system, again and again, okay lang yan na ina-automate, digitize, pero we need to make sure it's human enough and has empathy in the process. And, uh, para bang ano, 
be wise or be intelligent in using your system. Yes. Kung kung na-analyze mo or na-assess mo na sa situation or circumstances nitong taong ito, hindi applicable yung um, padalan mo siya ng general email, general rejection email. Kasi parang dapat meron ka pang idagdag or meron pang dapat i-explain further kung bakit hindi na siya nag ano ng process yung bang hindi siya nakapasa sa process kasi meron ka pang alam mo sa nangyari may dapat kang idagdag na explanation sa applicant ah uh, yun ang gawin mo wag masyadong mag-rely dun sa sa ano sa system kung sa tingin mo yung general rejection letter na sinisend ng naka naka register or naka built in dun sa system ay applicable sa kanya then gamitin mo siya but Remember, ikaw pa rin yung tao. Ikaw pa rin yung mas matalino sa system. System lang yan, di ba? Ron. So, ikaw pa rin yung magde-decide over. Dapat hindi mas, wag mong isipin na dapat mas matalino yung system sa'yo. Kasi ikaw ang operator ng system. Di ba? So, let the system become your friend. But, or maybe just your assistant, not actually your boss. <laughs> ano ba yun? <laughs> yeah. Okay, number six, the last of all the suggestions that we can share with you in this series na to, uh, yung the company, make sure that the company has a brand, that you should have an identity. Importante ba to ron, eh kung recruitment or talent acquisition lang naman tayo. Diba? So, parang important din ito ni Skisi kasi sa mga this is one of the strategies ng recruitment in order for you to attract um, potential candidates uh, and high quality candidates. You need to make sure na yung nilalaflip the image mo at yung nilalaflip the image ng company is, is naayong or aligned with, with, with your target uh, applicants. So, uh, mm-hmm. Usually, kaya, usually, kaya, um, hinugosit tayo ng mga aplikante kasi sa first na, first na interaction nila with us, mm-hmm. sabi nila, ay, hindi naman align yung principles ko with this company kasi ito yung nasa social media nila, ito yung nandito si Gano'n nila. So, if you have this target of uh, applicants, uh, make sure na maayot yung branding natin. Exactly. Oo, kasi alam mo ba, at this day and age, uh, it's very important that we have a very good identity and reputation or brand for our organization or for the organization or company we work for. Pero syempre, hindi lang naman yung, yung burden na yan, hindi lang naman yan naka nakadepende lang sa ating mga talent acquisition or recruitment officers. May tulong din dyan ng ibang units or ibang department ng company, actually. Exactly. Pero, It will require the whole organization. Oo naman. Tulong-tulong yan sa loob ng organization. Merong particular department um, in charge talaga sa mga ganyan. Pero, lagi nating tatandaan na alongside with whatever is published online or in physical papers, magazines, ganyan, about our company, we have to embody that. Siyempre yung mga negative wag, pero yung mga positive yes. For example, di ba? At saka Miss Casey, mm. sa panahon natin ngayon, you can Google everything and Google has everything. Correct! Di ba? So, para ka ng isang kayo. hubad na ano, no? para ka ng isang oh, hubad oh. na nila lang na in one click eh, alam. In fact, um, meron ka siyang website eh, ano ba ito? Glassdoor. Yes, I am in front of Glassdoor. Diba? Pati para, work din. Work din yan. High work. endorsement. Baka naman work din. Yung work oh, din nga. para oh, nagpo-post sila ng mga culture ng organization kung paano yung working. Para naman. Okay. Same with Glassdoor. Bekeneman. <laughs> Ma-sponsor kami. Na joke lang. Pero yun nga, sa Glassdoor tsaka yung sinasabi ni Ron, uh, ano siya, um, doon ka pwede mag-review kung ano yung mga magagandang company na salihan or applyan. Uh, wala akong knowledge kasi how how these companies monitor the the authenticity of the reviews. Yan ang hindi ko kayang sabihin sa inyo kasi well, I'll try to find out. Pero uh, as we speak, hindi ko alam how they do it. Syempre meron yan. 
ako naniniwala ako for sure, di ko man alam, pero naniniwala ako for sure na bilang ganyan yung nature ng business nila, hindi nila sisirain ng sarili na ng credibility sa mga tao. So, for sure, meron sila sa loob na like a certain measure or a way to monitor the authenticity ng mga reviews sa bawat companies na nilalagay doon. Kasi, kailangan maging reliable or accurate yan for job seekers, ba? Diba? And, um, mas, ano eh, mas hubad ang companies ngayon. At this day and age, mas mataas ang transparency kaya for, for applicants. Since mas marami kayong sources ngayon about the companies that you're interested in, the companies you want to work for, sana um, ma-minimize din yung ghosting. Kasi, um, maganda na din ngayon eh, nung araw, many, many years ago, or many decades ago, Diba, Ron, hindi naman nila malalaman kung ano yung culture ng company, ano yung values or shared values ng company. Malalaman na lang nila pag pumasok na sila, diba? Um, diba? Yes, agree-agree. Tama yun, ma'am. Wala ma'am. naman silang way dati. Ang uh, way lang nila, usually, makichika sa mga friends na nauna nang na trabaho doon or yung kamag-anak ni ganyan nagtrabaho doon or current employee doon, doon lang naman usually nakakachika yung mga um, applicants noon eh more than that, wala na, pero ngayon you are empowered to know the information you need, di ba? Yes, yes, nasa isang click lang na we have the information lang so make sure to maximize it <laughs> Oo, although may mga fake news nga, pero we need to make sure that we intelligently read materials yes. and we intelligently choose the materials that we need. But generally speaking, applicants are more empowered now about their choices, about companies they, they, they will apply to. Kaya sana tayong mga nasa, ano naman, no, sa site naman ng HR, ng recruitment, talent acquisition, we need to make sure na Tayo then we behave the way we should be behaving. Kung kung sinasabi sinisigaw ng kumpanya na we are an equal opportunity employer, we are a, sure. we need to make sure na totoo yan. Ang isa din kasing problema kadalasan on a, gen, on a general note ha. Pag sinabi, "Oh, we are an equal opportunity employer." We respect diversity and inclusion. Nakalagay dyan sa mga kung saan-saan. Saan ka mag, mag, mag sumilip na website or ano. Pero sana, kasi panghahawakan yan ng ating mga applicants. Kung, kung yan ang sinabi natin, sana pagdating nila talaga sa atin, when, it, when, when the time comes that they're applying to us, sana totoo siya and gagawin natin that we don't really discriminate. Diba? At talagang equal opportunity na lang. Oo, oh, oh, panindigan natin. Kasi pag, pag hindi natin ang pinanindigan, alam nyo, unang papasok sa isip ng mga tao, number one is anger, galit. Talagang sasabihan nila kayong sinungaling kayo. Gusto nyo bang magkaroon ng eksena sa recruitment office in front of other applicants na magkakaroon kayo ng debate nung aplikante na parang uh, ano, na parang sabi niyo ganito, sabi niya ganyan. Sinungaling kayo. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, uh, Siyempre, ano, iiwasan natin yung ganyan. Well, of course, uh, this, this, this may not be the, the episode to tackle more on as to how we can put into action the shared values or the declared policy statements of the company. No? So, we'll have a separate episode for that but generally speaking uh, kumbaga dito generally we have to mean what we say walk the talk ika nga um, yun walk the talk talaga literally I guess you named the best um, description for that so dyan magkakaroon ng brand identity yung mga tao kung nakikita ng applicants na yung mga nakapost kung saan saan about the company is true kasi again babagsak sa atin tayo kasi ang entry point de ba tayo yung gatekeepers eh so tayo ang una nilang nakikita tayo ang una nilang nakaka interact so dapat is very very careful tayo with our behavior and tayo din naman as di ba Ron sabi mo kanina applicants tayo dati so syempre 
alam natin kung ano ang inaasahan ng aplikante kasi hindi rin natin gustong ma-experience yun as applicants. So, dapat, we really um, do kung ano yung nasa shared values ng company, corporate values, mga ganyan, mga belief ng company, we should embody that. Kasi kahit tayo, we don't want to join a company that is not aligned with our personal values, diba? Yeah. Anything else that you'd like to add? Uh, with the number six, with the employer. Yeah, or in general, yeah. All good ako with employer friend, pero gusto mo wrap up your reasons just to stick to keep her sure. close to Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, I came across this term, Miss KDC, and I think baka na na, na na uh, alam din ko ng mga subscribers ko mo and mga watchers mo hindi ang tawag din ang The Great Resignation na happening right now na people are resigning because of the pandemic and because of what's happening parang di kung before people are having second thoughts na na mag-resign people are resigning and totoo siya it's not a myth na people are so titawag siya ang Great Resignation so, ang gusto ko lang i-point out dito is kung before, the upper hand is always in the HR in terms of the recruitment process. Right now, um, medyo equal like, na. Equal ang playing field right now. Yes. No? Your candidates have this, they have this power na no, to, to, to reject you as, as, a, rec- as a recruiter, as a yes. recruiter. So, mm-hmm. I think it's a, it's a call na, uh, especially with the HR uh, people na we need to evolve. We need to to change the system. No, para may wasan din natin to mga ghosting na. Mm-hmm. Kasi they just si si applicant they have the upper hand as well. No, they have play equal na yung play. So we need to adapt with the current system. We need to we need to adapt what's happening. We need to evolve our practices. No, na na mag na mag accommodate to everyone. Kasi it's a win-win eh. Kung, kung maging okay man to, hindi naman to win ni aplikante, win din to ni uh, natin bilang mga recruiter. So, um, ang, ang ano ko lang is, to, we need as an HR to do something para may wasan yung hosting. At the same time, we need to self-reflect as well as HR recruiters na huwag tayo mga parang ganang. But yun naman yung pinaka-bottom line ng discussion. Exactly. And... Alam mo, at this day and age then for for our uh, um, viewers watching this series, uh, ano kasi ngayon eh, parang, ewan ko ha, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, sa generation ngayon, no, yung mga millennials, Gen Z, uh, well, this is not to segregate other generations, pero, kasi, well, generation natin to, no, pero hindi ko alam Exactly, you know. Pero sa generation ngayon, hindi na lang laging puro pera. Alam mo yun? <laughs> this is not just about... Of course, importante yung sweldo, no? Siyempre, hindi... hindi nako, walang, walang kahit kami. Hindi, hindi namin ide-deny yan na sobrang importante ng sweldo. Kung magkano yung sweldo, importante yan. Let's be honest and let's be frank na importante yan. Nire-recognize natin yung importance yan. At, um kung paano siya tinitignan ng bawat aplikante. Pero, bukod dun, may iba pa kasi din, Ron, eh. Yung, uh, uh, yung ano, uh, yung, what they call this, yung values ng company. Kung tinitignan na ng applicants ngayon, aligned ba kami ng values? Do we share the same value? Bakit? Kasi, ang, um, well, for the generation right now, sana hindi ma-misinterpret yung ginugost nila yung kumpanya na, ay, ako na dito. Masama ang mag-awol, ha? Hindi namin pinopromote yan ni Aaron. Bakit, Aaron? <laughs> well, it, it shows your, ano, it shows your, your professionalism. Malisim. Oh. Uh, at the same time, um, may mga legal ano rin yan? Consequences. Consequences yan. <laughs> Ang pag-awol. Awol, oo. So, awol is, uh, is synony- uh, synonymous to ghosting. Pag 
hindi lang po sa hiring nangyayari ang ghosting or yung awal-awal na yan. Yung awal po, nangyayari yan sa, kunyari, empleyado ka na ng kumpanya, bigla kang mawawala. Siyempre, magsisend kami ng RTW. RTW is return to work order. Na parang ordering you na to, to show up and talk to us uh, after 5 days or within ganito, 10 days, you have to go back to the office and talk to us and etc. etc. Um, so that's another form of ghosting. Pero setting aside that, basta huwag niyong gawin yung awol, period. Exactly. <laughs> Bad yun. Unprofessional yan. Kung gusto niyo talagang umalis, resign. That's the best way. Mag-resign ng maayos. Do it professionally. So, going back to my point, yung generation ngayon, minsan, sinasabi nila ron, naku, layas ng layas sa kumpanya yan. Hindi mo mapapirmi sa isang kumpanya. Bagay. Sabi ng ibang lola, ng ibang lola, sabi ng ibang lola, bakit malayas ka ng layas sa kumpanya mo? Ayun, ganyan. Kasi, hindi lang po um, puro pera. Usually, and yan eh, it's coupled with uh, their interest to know if the values are aligned. Exactly. And, ewan ko, sa generation kasi ngayon, malaki yung pagpapahalaga sa they enjoy working with the company that shares the same values with them. Hmm. Hindi yung namamatay ka na sa pago, ayaw mo pa rin umalis dyan, nasusoka ka na dun sa values na yan, na hindi talaga matik. Alam mo yung mga ganong feeling eh, ron. Yeah, yeah. ba? Tapos, ayaw mo pa rin umalis. Kasi nga, ay, sayang naman yung sweldo. Ganda ng sweldo. Teasing ko na lang. <laughs> Pero, kamu- parang kamusta naman yung well-being mo. How's your mental state? How's your mental health? Kasi remember, you are more productive when you're mentally healthy. Hindi lang physically healthy. ba? Pagka marami ka ng um, like, may bullying, uh, ganyan, everyday binubuli ka, ostracized ka sa, sa company mo, di ba? Parang ang hirap mag-work ng ganun. Hindi ko rin naman sinasabi ron na we are promoting job hoppers or job hopping, ha? Hindi rin maganda yon. Ang gusto lang namin sabihin ni Ron, may mga instances kasi talaga na uh, umaalis yung tao sa company kasi nga nakikita na niya na hindi na-aligned ang mga bagay-bagay sa kanyang values. And, parang, parang ano, parang know when to jump. Parang gano'n. Yeah. Know uh, when to hop off. Yeah. Or to leave. Parang gano'n. Oo. So, ang masasabi namin, always assess, think, analyze kung bakit mo nang gusto umalis. Weigh your options. Huwag basta-basta. Huwag kang nagmamandali. Huwag padalos-dalos sa pagre-resign. Dahil mahirap din naman maghanap ng trabaho. di ba? Pero yeah. hindi namin sinasabi na pag hindi mo na talaga kaya sa kumpanyang yan at um, hindi mo na talaga matik, well, yeah, you can leave. But do it professionally. Huwag kang mang-ghosting. Bawal lang mumu <laughs> sa employment mo. Okay? So, I hope you you learned so much from our HR series based sa mga experience namin in the past and based also from from the consultancy experience that we, we are experiencing right now kasi ito na yung field na ginagalawa namin ni Aaron. Um, any last words? Bago uh, tayo multuhin <laughs> ng internet. <laughs> si internet din, ang lakas pang uh, ghosting, nakakainis. Anyway, sige, go ahead. Uh, I think ang last word ko lang is, 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 is uh, you respect sa during the recruitment process works uh, both ways. Hindi lang kay each, hindi lang kay applicant same thing kay HR and as well so make sure you know, na uh, na is yung patuloy na pakita uh, sa pakita to communicate with each other para maibasan yung and thank you so much for this opportunity to share as well with you your experience ko with uh, your guys sure of course, anytime, very welcome kang makipagkulitan at makipagkwentuhan uh, dito sa channel na to. Kasi puro kwentuhan ng channel na to. Kasi sabi nga natin, it's better that we know. And brown bag sessions are now virtual. Kasi diba, very um, identified sa HR ang brown bags. Yeah. Ayaw yung mahilig magpa-brown bag sessions sa company. Eh, 
ngayon hindi pwede kasi maraming work from home. Yeah. Kaya dinala na natin sa virtual world and brown bag session. So habang nagkakape sila dyan, at least um, there's like a sharing session that we can always offer them. And uh, ano ba? Last few words. Ang masasabi ko lang is uh, sa hinabahaba ng discussion namin ni Aaron, respect lang talaga yan and communication. Whether you're a job seeker or um, HR officer ka, dapat lagi kayo nag-uusap in every step of the way. And one last clarification, hindi considered ghosting ang ano ha, kunyari, nag-submit ka ng application, um, parang kunyari, hindi ka napili dun sa ano, yung sa paper screening. Huh. Um, I have read some literatures na hindi siya considered ghosting. But it's still, I know, it's still nice to to receive um, a reply or a response from HR. Parena, we have received your app, your application. Yeah, of course, the... acknowledge, okay. acknowledging. Pero medyo mas 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 gray area pa daw yon. Na hindi pa siya technically considered ghosting, although medyo medyo pero gray area siya. Pero hindi pa siya totally count as ghosting because ghosting happens when there's already a clear and concrete. Um, transaction happened between you you as an applicant and sa HR. Like, tinawag ka na for, in-schedule ka na for initial interview ganyan. Tapos hindi ka sumipot or hindi ka sumipot ni HR. Ayan. May mga ghosting ng malinaw na nagagala. So, guys, thank you so much. Make sure that um, you're always professional with your interactions with everybody and make sure that when you apply for a job, you're always um, behaving professionally. Your interactions, whether it's email yan or, or sa mga ano ba yun, sa mga application sourcing platforms, kung sa LinkedIn man yan, or saan, kasi involved na involved ng social media ngayon, tsaka mga headhunting platforms. Saan man kayo nag-uusap ni HR, make sure that you're always professional with your interactions. And in the same way, na tayong mga... HR, lagi natin yan iisipin na lagi tayo talagang dapat uh, professional with our dealings sa mga applicants. It's always two-way. Two-way process. It takes two to tango, sabi nga. Yeah. A very old saying, pero you know, it holds true. Kahit tuma na yung, or cliche na yung, ano na yun, yung, yung, <laughs> yung saying na yun, no, it takes two to tango. Let's respect one another. And, um, yeah, yun lang. Again, thank you, Aaron, for joining us today. Thank you, Sakulet. Thank you, Sakulet, and for the insights, wonderful insights, no? Parang it means na ang haba na rin pala ng napagdaanan natin sa early in our careers, no? Na ang dami na pala natin nakasagup ang iba-ibang mga aglikante. Mapa-volume hiring or mapa-specialized hiring, no? Again, thank you so yeah. much everyone um, don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching this episode see you in the next HR series bye bye, -bye. bye. background shows a small group of people in a theater like setting watching something and a block of text in the pink box appears at the lower part saying thank you for watching the next sequence shows two sets of hands scribbling on a flat white surface and a block of text in the middle with the words. See you on the next brown bag session. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Audio description written and voiced by Ray Recran.